Alright guys and girls, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Alright, check it out. Behind me we got a 2010 BMW 528i and the customer's complaint is the check engine light is on. Oh boy. <laughs> check engine light on the BMW. <laughs> so today we're going to figure out what the heck is going on. Coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. Alright guys, the first thing you do, make sure you grab your Ortel AL539B. This machine is bad. And we got a channel dedicated just to this machine. And we will check it out in the link in the description below. That's right, subscribe to that channel. Alright, OBD2 connector right over here. It next actually says OBD. Let's pop that little latch open. Go inside there. Plug it up. Alright. Cut our key in the on position. Let me cut this thing. Okay. All right. Let's check this out. See what's going on. We got OBD two. What that sounds like? I got a familiar. Something else does that. Uh oh, Cole's found one. All right. Erase data from previous. Yeah, yeah, we good. Erase that. We don't need that no more. All right, let's go with the engine. Read codes. Ugh. P2096, post catalyst fuel trim, system two lean, bank one. And we got one of three. Let's see. Two or three is the same thing. Three, three is the same thing. That's permanent. They said permanent. What's the other one said? Pending. How can pending and permanent? Like it's going to come up again. And the other one is stored. Well, you got all three. <laughs> all right. This guy's is... I, a lot of guys explain this code kind of confusing. And it, it, it's... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them. But I'm going to explain this real quick. And we're going to find out what the heck is going on. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Guys, what this code is telling us. This code is telling us that the computer senses there is too much air coming inside the engine and it can't regulate it. What do I mean by that? Quick lesson on fuel trims. Let's go with long-term fuel trim. If you're checking your long-term fuel trims with the engine running, they should be zero. Zero. Maybe negative one, maybe, maybe, maybe one, maybe. But the prime number is zero. Now, the engine's got from zero to 50 that way and zero to 50 this way. So now the engine's checking things coming in. If there's a small vacuum leak, the engine will compensate for that by bringing that number to zero up. Just to keep that fuel and uh, air lean. Keep it, keep it at a steady level. The more air coming into the engine, the big, which means the bigger that vacuum leak, that number's got to go up. That number can only go up to a certain amount. In this case, let's say 50. So now the engines, the, the computer's maxing it out. 50, trying to compensate for this big vacuum leak. If it reaches its max, and there's still not enough to level this air fuel, air fuel mixture out, boom, the check engine light comes on. And that's what we have here. So the thing is now, you have to figure out where is that vacuum leak coming from? A lot of time it's easy, a lot of time it's hard, a lot of times it's almost impossible without a smoke machine. And that's what I'm going right to it. We're going to put a smoke machine on this thing and check it out. But first, before we do the smoke thing, we're going to go up in the front and do a little visualiza visualization on it, all right? We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Now, you got one, two, three, four, five, and six up under there. Six on the car. These first three, that's bank one. The last three is bank two. That means I know my leak more than likely it's somewhere affecting the first half of the engine so what you want to do you want to go around you want to check all your 
vacuum line, especially plastic lines. Check all the lines. Uh, number one thing, here's your mass airflow sensor, and you got this tube going from the mass airflow sensor down to the throttle body. You want to make check that, make sure that has no cracks in it whatsoever. whatsoever. And usually, if that has a crack in it, you're going to get not only a PO296, 2096, but a P2095, both of them. But we're not, so we're going to go around and check it in here. And it sucks about this. I'm going to have to pull off this cover too because there is stuff on the top. Um, so let me go around this. I'm going to pull this cover off. And this cover kind of sucks to pull this off because you got, in order, there's two bolts way in the back of this. So we got to take off all this stuff around here to get this thing off. So let me pull all this off and I'll be right back. All right, guys, got the cover off. And, um,. Because the main reason I want to do is, you see this right here? This this line right here goes to the brake booster. And this brake boot, this line goes all the way down, abundant the intake, then go around here. Can we pull this back? Right here, which is a pla thick plastic vacuum line. And it goes to the valve cover, it looks like. So, what I need to do here, I don't see nowhere where it could be where it could be leaking so I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna sit here and mess around anymore we're gonna do us a smoke test and I'm gonna figure out what's the best way of tapping into the line for the smoke test what I can do what I do is Pop this up. Maybe pop this out of pop this line out of the brake booster. It may tap right into there. But then, in order to do that, if I do a smoke test, it's gonna blow smoke all through the entire intake and everything, and it's gonna come out of here through the the air cleaner, air filter. And also, we gotta block that off also. So you know what? Let's let's take this up. Let me go get a flat screwdriver. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my mass airflow sensor disconnected. I loosened up the clamp right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut a little latch over here. Pick this up. All right, we're going to take this out. And we got to close this off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap right into this side right here. And to take that off, it takes a lot to take apart to get this thing in. It's got two little clamps on each side. Now, you probably don't have to worry about this because nope, you guys, I'm not doing no smoke test or nothing. Okay, I got to squeeze these together and pop that off. And we're going to actually blow smoke straight into here. But let's get some caps. We got a smoke machine. We got some caps in here to block this off and all. So we can see what's going on. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got our smoke machine out here. And we got our caps to plug off. And let's get our holes. Okay, let's go over here. And let's see. Try this one. Get that, get that stuck in there. Now, for you guys that don't know what we're about to do here, a smoke test. Now, when I cut this, when I cut, turn this machine on with my little trigger right here, I, the only time I've seen something like this is on TV with the uh, morphine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Whoops. This thing on? Nope. What the heck? Is there on the green light on? No. Oh, it's flashing. I don't need to flash. There it is. Okay. Okay, watch this, guys. Well, you don't have to be too close. This thing gonna start smoking like crazy. As soon as it warms up and all. There we go. Alright, you see all that smoke right there? 
Now, cut this off. What we're gonna do is put this into here. We're gonna put it right into here, and we're gonna start the smoke machine up. This smoke, that this machine is gonna blow smoke through the intake manifold, the valve cover, anywhere, the engine, everywhere in the engine. And if we see smoke anywhere, that's a leak. And that's what will cause the the lean mist. That's where we're sucking in our air. And we can't have that. So we're gonna put this on right here. Now, check this out. Let's let's go back over here to the machine. Now on the machine, there's a ball down there. So when I start it up, see that ball go to the top? Now that's a big leak right there. Now as I cl slowly close this off, see how the ball starts dropping down? Dropping down, dropping down, till I close off. Then it's gonna hang out right there. We're looking for this thing to go down. There should not be any leaks in this system. All right, so let's shut this back off. Let's go over here. I'm gonna hook this up right here. Put that in there. And ready? Let's do it. All right, the machine is on. It's pretty high. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty high. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta go over here and we gotta watch out for where, our, where we start seeing smoke at. It takes a while before it builds up. And I'm gonna show you an example of what's going on. Watch what happens when I open up this cap. <laughs> Nothing, but I heard it go fss. So it's not, is there a little smoke coming out of there? I don't see anything. I see oh, it. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. It's gonna be a lot more than that. Yeah, now it's getting more. It's starting to fill up. Yeah. Alright, so let's close this off. I think I'll make this a little tighter because it's starting to leak a little bit through here. Alright. I'll look, but I don't see anything. I hear air. Wait a minute, look back there. Look at you oh, something? yeah, I see it. Where's that coming from? I don't know. You're supposed to, you're supposed to know, dang it. How am I supposed to know? You're supposed to know everything. Yes, you are supposed to know everything. Well, oh, that's getting to be a, a lot now. There's a windy out here. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? What about, what is that right there? Wait, I... The ignition coil? No. No, no. Next to that round thing. What is that? This right here is a PCV valve cover. Well, the wind's blowing now, but a minute ago it looked like it was coming from there. Oh, you hear that? I can hear it coming out the vent. I don't right. hear anything. I don't hear it. You don't hear it? What, what, what? I don't hear okay, it. Okay, go, put the microphone, put, the, put everything closer. Okay, watch this, guys. When I stop it. I hear you tapping on it. I hear it. That's what that's where it's coming from, right there. Okay, let's uh Okay, let's let's see what what, what is let's see where our needle our gauge is at. And what I'm gonna do is it's coming from right there. 
and that's not supposed to be smoking. Let me see if I close this off. Dang it. Wait a minute, now it's coming from. See it stop that see how it stopped back there? Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Where is it? But look right here. What is that, the oil cap? I think so. Is it? You know what, let me get some. Actually, it looks like it's coming from below the oil cap. What are you talking about, Sibby? It's just terrible. You're right. It is. You know what? Let me get a rag and close off around here. And see if we can see something. But did our gauge go down? Any, I, don't know. I don't know. I can barely walk around here with all your tools all over the place. Yep, it did go down a little bit. What is it down to? Uh, four. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my hand go off the uh PCV valve. Well cover. Oh, the machine shut off. Wait a minute. <laughs> Dang, how about that? Ooh. You fixed it. What is that? Back eight? to eight. Alright, let me uh I'm gonna close it off. It's dropping down. Mm-hmm. Alright, and let it go. Going back up. Going back up. So we know we got a leak. But what is that little I don't understand. What is that little a little The PCV valve cover? Yeah, but it's that a little diaphragm spout in there. thingy, whatever you want to call that's it. That's a that's a vent. Oh. And actually even though I got it off, it's still leaking over here. I just, but um, if you cover it, then it would be I don't get it. But it's leaking over here even without now. There he goes with his board. That's right. Get it. They, they guys, they love that. This is to pull out the board. All right, check this guy. Mechanic 101. Let me, let me show you what's going on here. Uh, let's draw. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's draw. You're let's, on a loop right there. Let's draw this. And this. It's a talking bubble? <laughs> yeah. All right, and right here. All right, this is this. <laughs> this represents the PCV valve cover, and you have this diaphragm right here. This diaphragm just goes poof, poof, right up and down. Here's the engine vacuum right here. So when the engine vacuum sucks in, sucks the air out of here, that 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 valve pushes down. But if there is no opening right here if this is all a sealed chamber because of the diaphragm when it goes to suck air out that diaphragm can't move because there's not enough air in here to allow it to move i hope i got that explained right remember there is no air between here just goes like that up and closes the reason now if you add that little vent that we just put our finger on it. Now, if you add that vent, now air can go in here. If this di diagram, this diaphragm needs to go down, it'll bring air in. And if this diaphragm needs to go up, it can because it'll be able to push air out. But if it's sealed, when it's going to push it up, it can't. If the unit, if the uh, chamber is sealed. So, being that this is sealed right here, no air is supposed to get past this at all. When we're doing a smoke test. I use Sivy's favorite color. Now, when we're doing a smoke test and we're blowing that smoke through here, it's supposed to stop. If we're getting smoke out of that chamber, that means this diaphragm is no it's good. It's kaput. It's kaput. So we know right now that is done. It's the same thing as an EGR valve, guys. Same thing. All right? So we know right now our PCV valve cover is no good. The suck part about this, that's with the whole valve cover. Dang it, that's gonna suck. But, we got another leak up here. Wait, what'd you say? What? What'd you say about the valve cover? 
it comes with the valve cover. Oh. So that's gonna suck. All right, so today we had a 2010 BMW 528i with a 3.0. And the issue was it had a uh, P2096 code. So it's a, a system two lean bank one. And after doing a smoke test, we found that it had uh, leaks coming from uh, the PCV valve cover and so some other place. But everything comes together with the valve cover. Those are the leaks we found today. Uh, that has to be done and then we'll check it again to see if there are any other leaks because it is possible that there could be other leaks if you guys have any comments or questions you can post it below in the comment section or you can email timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com hope you paid attention if not watch it again this is sylvia from astro auto repairs if we can't repair it nobody can see you next time